Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between repo rate and reverse repo rate. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Before understanding the difference between repo rate and reverse repo rate, first of all you should understand the basics. That is, what is repurchase option agreement. So friends, repurchase option agreement or repo agreement is a contract between the buyer and seller of the debt instrument promising that the seller will repurchase the instrument after the specified period of time. It requires the seller to repurchase the securities at a higher price than the price on which it is actually sold. So, the difference in the amounts paid by the buyer of securities at the time of buying and the seller of securities at the time of repurchasing is termed as repo rate. It helps the seller of securities to raise short-term funds. To influence short-term interest level in the economy, generally RBI, that is the central bank, conducts repo transactions. The tool is used to manage excess liquidity in the monetary system. For the repo or reverse repo transactions, takes place between parties approved by RBI and that too in the securities approved by RBI. So come, let's understand what is repo rate. Repurchase option or repo rate is the rate at which RBI grants loan to the commercial bank against government securities with an agreement to repurchase the securities at a future date and at a predetermined price. So it is the rate at which banks raise money from the central bank when there is any deficiency of funds. Banks also borrow money in case of an emergency or to comply with CRR or SLR requirements. I have already created a separate video on the difference between CRR and SLR, so you can watch that also. I have provided the link to that video in the description box below. Further, when the repo rate falls, it facilitates commercial bank to avail funds at a cheaper rate. Whereas, if there is a hike in repo rate, it discourages the commercial bank to raise funds from RBI. As with the increase in rate, loans get expensive. Come, let's understand the concept of repo rate with an example. Suppose ABC Limited is a commercial bank that borrows 1 crore from central bank and the repo rate is 4% per annum. So on the first day, RBI grants loan to ABC worth rupees 1 crore against collateral and on the second day, the commercial bank repays the amount along with the interest at 4% per annum that is 1096 rupees and RBI transfers government securities to the bank. Coming to reverse repo rate. When banks have excess money, they deposit their surplus cash with RBI for a short term at a specified rate or the rate at which RBI borrows money through commercial banks by providing government securities. This is called as reverse repo rate. Further, an increase in the reverse repo rate acts as an incentive to the banks to deposit their excess funds with RBI for a short term against collateral and get interest at lucrative rates on an overnight basis. In this way, the liquidity in the economy will be absorbed. However, when RBI reduces the repo rate, the banks will earn less interest on their money deposited with RBI. So, the banks will invest their money in those investment avenues in which the interest rate is comparatively higher, such as money market instruments. Hence, it increases the overall liquidity in the economy as more money is infused into the system. Come, let's understand it with an example. Suppose ABC Limited is a commercial bank. It deposits its surplus funds worth rupees 1 crore with RBI at 3.35% per annum reverse repo rate. So on the first day, the bank transfers 1 crore rupees to RBI against government securities as collateral. And on the next day, the RBI repays the amount along with the interest at the rate of 3.35% per annum, which amounts to rupees 918 and the commercial bank transfers government securities to RBI. Moving on to the difference between repo rate and reverse repo rate. Repo rate. Repo rate is the interest rate at which RBI lends money to commercial bank for a short period against collateral that is government securities. As against, reverse repo rate is the interest rate offered by RBI to the commercial banks on the deposits when they park their surplus funds with RBI. So what is it? Repo rate is the rate at which liquidity is absorbed in the economy. Whereas, reverse repo rate is the rate at which liquidity is injected into the economy. Next, purpose. In case of repo rate, there are two main reasons. To fulfill deficiency of funds or to fulfill CRR or SLR requirements. 
In case of reverse repo rate, the purpose is to manage the liquidity in the economy. Rate In general, repo rate is always higher than the reverse repo rate. Next, Controls Repo rate is a monetary tool used by the central bank for controlling inflation, whereas central bank uses reverse repo rate for controlling money supply in the economy. Next, while well, repo rate is charged on repurchase option agreement, whereas reverse repo rate is charged on reverse repurchase option agreement. Now what is repurchase option agreement? As we have already discussed earlier in this video, a repurchase option agreement is a forward agreement between the commercial bank and central bank in which commercial bank commits to repurchase government securities after the repo period at a predetermined rate. On the other hand, a reverse repurchase option agreement is a buying and selling agreement between the bank and RBI in which bank promises to resell government securities to RBI once the reverse repo period is over as a predetermined rate of interest. Impact of increase in the rate An increase in the repo rate will make commercial banks borrow less from central bank due to high interest rate. Whereas, an increase in reverse repo rate will encourage commercial banks to transfer more money to the central bank and earn interest. Lastly, impact of decrease in the rate. As the repo rate decreases, taking loans from RBI will become cheaper for the banks. As a result of which, loans will be available to the general public at economical rates. As against, a decrease in the reverse repo rate will make the bank invest their money in better investment avenues than depositing their money with the RBI because of low interest rate. So friends, this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope the concept of repo rate and reverse repo rate is clear to you now. However, if you want to study the topic further in detail, you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com. Here you can find a detailed comparison of repo rate and reverse repo rate along with their definitions, diagrams and examples. Links are also provided in the description box below. So friends, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Also, if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos, consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbhi signing off.